Hello. Bonjour. Hola. Guten Tag. I'm speaking to you through a telephone. This week, you'll learn how to make your own telephone microphone. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Sound Strategies. I'm your host, Robert, and this week I'm going to show you how you can make your own telephone microphone. But before we begin, I'd like to encourage you to support this channel by subscribing if you haven't already, and click the little bell for notifications on new videos each week. So telephones have inherent bandpass filtering that focuses on the mid-range of the frequency spectrum. This is because they were designed to capture and transmit speech, so they best represent frequencies that contribute to the intelligibility of speech. It is possible to make a telephone that could pick up and transmit sound as clear as a professional microphone. However, during development, it was deemed too expensive to transmit so much information, and the frequency response was cut to the bare essentials. So for this reason, telephones make great lo-fi dynamic microphones that can add character and grit to the mid-range. So let's get started with this project. To make a telephone microphone, you will need an old home telephone. And we're only gonna be using the receiver for this project. An XLR cable to sacrifice. We'll be using the male end of the cable. A soldering iron. And some tools for stripping wires and opening the handset of the phone. So begin by plugging in your soldering iron and then opening the body of the phone handset. Depending on the phone's design, this can be a real pain or very simple. Luckily, this model has two screws for easy access. Next, you'll see the electronics of the phone and the two wires connecting the earpiece speaker and the microphone. Remove the microphone. Next, use your soldering iron to remove the leads from the speaker. With the mouthpiece electronics removed, the phone is ready to be converted into a sturdy dynamic microphone. We will be using the earpiece speaker as our microphone. Speakers and microphones operate in a similar way, but in reverse. By making this speaker our input, it will accept sound just like a microphone. This is the exact same concept as a sub kick speaker. Next, we'll measure the length of our XLR cable. Make sure to use the male end. Then, cut the cable and strip off the outer casing to expose the wires within. Separate the grounding sheath from the leads and strip the casing from both wires. Then, remove the excess grounding that surrounded the wires. Thread the exposed end of the cable through the cord hole of the phone. Next, solder the ends to each of the terminals. For this project, we're not too concerned about which is which. Melt the solder with the iron and push each cable into place until completely covered. Let the solder harden for a moment before moving on to the next one. Depending on the shape of the casing, you may need to make some room for the XLR cable. For my phone, I sanded some grooves out of the top and bottom of the receiver's body with some 100 grit sandpaper wrapped around a pencil. That allowed the phone to close snugly without any part of the plastic digging into the cable. Once your cable fits, you can use a few dabs of hot glue to tack it in place. Reseal the case and voila, your very own telephone microphone. But how does it sound?
So the telephone mic may sound unappealing on its own, however, it's quite useful and it makes a great contrast to the average dynamic microphone. Its filtered frequency response adds a bright mid-range presence and a nasally resonance. When we check its response on a frequency analyzer, we can see a clear difference in the emphasis between the two mics. So experiment by using your new telephone on different instruments in your sessions to discover new sonic possibilities. So for those of you who completed this project, what was your favorite application for the telephone mic? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, thanks again for watching this video and supporting the channel. I really enjoy sharing these recording projects and experiments with you. So if you liked this video and you're hungry for more tips on recording your own projects, you can visit my website to get a free copy of my new book, How to Record Anything with Clarity and Character. After reading this book, you'll have a firm understanding of the basics of digital audio, as well as a whole bunch of cool new microphone techniques that will allow you to capture your recordings with flavor and attitude. So check the description below for a link to the book. And as always, thanks for watching and happy tracking.